Okay, I'm actually gonna move dark vision to two. Because I think dark vision is handier than a heart. Heart, put on zero or whatever. Yeah. No, 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 heart. Can I put the... The potions? R and T. I guess we can't put that on numbers. And we don't need to. Hello, Granny. Mm, if I was a birdie, I'd want to eat that. Yes, I would indeed. I don't know what that means. Oh, my dear. I knew you'd help me with those ill-mannered boys. My brave man. Listen, Granny has a birthday present for you. I got it from the outsider, and now I'm giving it to you. Go on. It's upstairs. On the vanity. I think you'll cut a nice figure with it. Remember how we used to dance? Our parties were even grander than those at the Boyle Manor. Everyone wanted to come. Hmm. I told you the knives go on the left. When did you put that there? Oh my god. I hope you like oh. the gift I got for you. It's the least I could do for turning those louts away. I can't bear these Bottle Street children. Ruffians, every last one of them. Rotten apples. And that slack jaw is the worst of the lot. You know what I just thought of? You could do something else for me. Another little favor. And I'd give you another present. Another lovely rune carved from the bones of a dead whale. Do you remember my doctor, dear? Dr. No. Galvani? Now there was a clever man. He's got all sorts of nasty rat guts and disease in his laboratory. Wouldn't it be a shame if some of that mess found its way into the Bottle Street Gang's elixir still? That'd teach him. See to it, dear. I'll find you another present just like the first. Galvani lives on Clavering Boulevard. Or at least he used to. Those were the days. Now run off. My baby birdies are hungry. So precious. Hmm. O okay. But they're shy. You'll have to go or they won't come. The outsider visits other people too. Not just me. I'm not that special. How many runes do I have now? I have three. I can probably afford a little bit more. If I get level two of this one, what does that give me? See in the dark, see living beings, representations of sounds, see useful objects. Uh, that's nice, but maybe I want to blink a little bit further. That would probably enable me to do new things. Yeah? Okay, what about these ones? Health increase, adrenaline, brutal melee fatalities, jump height. That's nice too. But I guess if we have blink, it's not a big issue. Alright, goo. Where was that guy's office? Over there? I heard the broadcast saying that the... The whatever boulevard. It's closed right now, isn't it? I still wonder why that didn't work, though. God, it's gonna say I killed the guy because we don't even know where his body is. What the heck? <laughs> Do people disintegrate from the, the sleep the heart? That's not really sleeping, is it? Well, whatever. Let's not worry too much about it, like I said. Uh... The Bottle Street Gang? So far, we've only made one guard unconscious. But we've hurt a lot of seemingly innocent people. <laughs> uh, distillery. Oh. Yeah, sleep darts. <laughs> Nasty. Okay, just to make sure.
Can I see the definition of a sleep dart? Because I'm so worried about that body disappearing. <laughs> Puts enemies to sleep after a short delay. Now, did we end up getting the one... I don't think so. Yeah, there was something that let me make it so that the sleep darts... ...activate right away. Nah, okay, whatever. Who cares? Who cares? Oh! Oh no no. I want to stay here, I guess, because we want to find the doctor and all, right? Yeah? Uh... If possible, can we- Ooh. People. Let me out. I'm fine. <laughs> That's not what we Just a cold. Are you sure? Because you know we have to check you over. And there's an inspection fee. The void with Bottle Street into the void with you. Let me out. Oh, you don't want to talk to us like that. Yeah, Fact is, nice. Bottle Street is here to take its cut. So reach into your pockets and let's get this done. Yeah, and the inspection fee. We can't help it. Just the way we do things on Bottle Street. <laughs> <laughs> Are they staying? Hey. Were they talking to me? Nice. Let me out. Yeah, nice. Anyone there? Oh god, this is such a good opportunity. I've wasted it though, because I was using the dark vision. I wanted to blink just now. I'm trapped! It's okay, they'll move again. Let me out. We can probably talk to that guy instead of killing him, right? <coughs> oh, I can maybe facilitate their movement if I can find a bottle. Hey. Are you serious? They should not care about that at all. Anyone there? <coughs> oh, maybe it had to touch the ground. Art dealer's apartment. Um. Maybe I can forget about them for now and go here? No. Dang, I really wasted that opportunity there. Let me out. Now they're not moving at all. I don't want to waste a sleep dart on you though. Can I find another bottle and try it again? Okay, this is my last chance. Make sure it hits the ground, maybe. I could also try blinking up there, but I don't think it'll... Will it link to the other apartment? Hey. <coughs> oh, what the hell, man? Pay attention to your surroundings! <coughs> okay. Alright. Alright. Okay. Maybe we'll try... It's not gonna do anything. No. Oh god. A Gaffer's Tale, Volume 1. Travel Journal of a Young Whaler. My sister Nina and I left Tivia together, saying goodbye to our aunt, the woman who had raised us since childhood, leaving behind our home city of Yarrow and the cold, but beautiful white landscapes we had always known. We boarded a ship for Dunwall. Our parents had left us with a sizable inheritance, and we spent half of this getting to the capital city and establishing a small import shop dedicated to Tivian furs. Once I'd helped Nina establish the business, I was free to pursue my dream, signing on with a whaling ship 
was the most exciting thing I'd ever done, and I saw it as a means to an end. Someday, I would captain my own crew, and eventually, own a fleet of similar vessels. With tears in her eyes, Nina kissed me farewell, and I did not see her again for many months. As an apprentice to the gaffer, I got to see the tracking and killing of the great beasts up close. Nothing had ever fired my spirit so, as the wind and pounding waves, racing after a wounded whale, being pulled by a skein of cables embedded in its thick flesh. I changed more in those first seven months than I had in the previous seven years. Whaling was beginning to put its mark on me, so that Nina barely recognized me when I returned, tanned and sinewy with muscle, weather creases already wrinkling the corners of my eyes, but she could see that I was filled with joy, having found my purpose. Whaling. Whaling is a huge thing here, isn't it? Mother's Journal Eighth Entry It's the fourth day of the month of rain. Morris is sick and so are the children. I've avoided it thus far, which is good fortune, since it has fallen on me to care for them. Ninth Entry The city watch comes and goes, knocking on doors and asking for signs of plague. Even our neighbors cannot be trusted. Earlier, it was difficult to keep the children quiet. Now they sleep most of the time. Cause there's plague. Tenth entry. The flies have set in. I try to keep them away, but I can barely get close. They sting so. Most of the time, Morris won't answer me when I try to talk to him from across the room. Eleventh entry. Morris is gone. I don't know what I'll do. For now, all my hope is reserved for the children. Leaving the flat for a while near dawn, I found some plague bags from a guard booth while no one was around. It took a while, but I got Morris into one of the bags. At least his face is covered. Twelfth entry. Young Robert has passed. The star of my sky is gone. Seventeenth entry. Elise stopped breathing in the middle of the night. She was such a headstrong girl. I can hardly believe she was overcome. She was always near as I cut up hagfish or vegetables, arguing with me about everything. 18th entry. It is the fourth day of the month of wind. It has settled in that they are lost to me. All of them. I cannot bring myself to call the dead counter. 19th entry. I have the fever now. No guards come near anymore. Whole family. Well, must be these people here. Anyone there? The city doesn't seem to be doing too much to help the people. They just try to quarantine everybody, but is it working or like what? The fuck are you looking at? Blow off, Chopper! Is he talking to me? <coughs> he can't be, right? Not now. A hey. wall of light. Hey, should we be visiting the distillery <coughs> first? Because the main objective is the wall of light, I'm guessing. Because <coughs> uh, the granny wanted me to go <coughs> mess up the distillery or something. Okay, let me see if I can find a bottle here. Those guys won't move at all. I missed that one chance I had. And now they won't move forever. If I stand there and the guy walks over, will he see me? I'm trapped. <coughs> Are you freaking serious? What's wrong with you? Why do you have such an- <laughs> You're too focused on your job! Do I have one more? Just give me one more chance, please. Oh. Timeless children's rhymes. They say that Jimmy Whitcomb Riley was a brawler his mates called Smiley. He ran around up downtown, up and downtown, pulling off every kind of crimey. On Bottle Street, he hung with the boys, throwing bricks and bottles and other toys. They'd start a fight, then run and hide, breaking, laughing, far and wide. 
Smiley liked to eat and drink all day, and smash and bash the night away. Drunk and all alone, he drifted off, asleeping, sitting on the bridge along John Clavering. <laughs> That's a horrible rhyme. When he woke, something strange he found, stranger than a singing wolfhound. He'd become a blue-jawed hagfish, most slimy, and only remembered his name was Smiley. They say that Jimmy Whitcomb Riley was never seen again for all of timey, but he swam around up and down, drinking from the river, crying, why me? Maybe I didn't want to read that. Why is that guy so resistant to moving? Okay. Do I possibly have anything that I can... Because my problem right now is, if I try to get one of them, the other one's gonna notice for sure. Plus. Plus. That guy's looking this way, so if I try to get him from around the corner, he's gonna see me. Can I get into the building without them seeing? Maybe not. I'm taking too long on this. God damn it. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm gonna try it anyway. Yeah, I just wanna save some sleep darts, but they don't really give me a chance to. Get out of here. Oh, is that a toilet? <coughs> Let me out, little bastard. Oh! Oh, you're okay with me? Oh! <laughs> what was I planning Keep the whole away, time? I'll slit your wicker for you. <clears throat> Stay away. Get off Ow! Blow hard. Ow. Oh, okay, so these guys weren't my enemies to begin with. Oh. He kicked me, though. So I think he's my enemy now. Okay, I'll leave. I'll leave. Ooh, look. He's armed for fighting. No wonder they didn't pay attention to me. Because they weren't guards? What the heck, man? Well, we gotta save that guy, right? Anyone there? Okay, so you know what? <laughs> Somebody give her! You can't... <laughs> <laughs> I love how I spent like 20 minutes on this, and this is what I end up doing in the end. Hey! Anyone there? There might have been another way to do it, but I can't see another way into the building from here. Maybe I would have to walk around from some other way? Hey! Yeah? Uh, hello? I'm trapped! Oh, do you want me to like. Hold on. I owe you, brother. I won't ask about the mask. I wouldn't want my face seen either pulling a stunt like that. I saved you! You know what? I'll return the favor. Come by Griff's shop. That's my business. Well, it was, at one time. But now I'm reduced to scavenging things from here and there as the city dies. If you need anything, I wouldn't mind trading for a little money. Maybe someday the plague will blow over and everything will go back to normal. But until then, it's scavenging for me. Okay, thank you. Want to look at some of the things I found? Good prices, I swear. So what's a quick way for me to tell if someone's gonna attack me on sight or not? I guess if someone's a guard, they'll attack me. <laughs> 100 freaking coins, no way. It's way cheaper back at Piero. But he is right here in the middle of the mission. Blueprint? Lens magnification. Sokolov's formula. Hopefully we don't need these. Yeah. Okay, cool. So what? What did I do all of that for then? Just for this guy? What the heck? Oh, god, these people walk fast. So where was the other way that I could have come into the building from? Because I'm sure I could have done it. I just didn't see it from my angle.
Strong arms. Choking is faster. Oh, that's definitely useful, right? Let's have it. But since I feel like we only should have three at this point, I'm gonna take away another one. It's not a big problem. I'll just take away this one. Sure. Oh! Was that my problem? Delicate touch, breaking glass sound is moderately reduced. Is that why that guy never got distracted by my bottle throwing? I don't know. Bone charms, a sailor's blessing, they say. The carving itself is a practice from long back, passed from father to son, old man salt to greenhorn, still getting his sea legs beneath him. In the old times, men cut into the tusks of ice seals and into the arm-long fangs of bears that roamed the isles north of Tibia. Once the whale trade began, the practitioners went into engraving the bones of these great beasts, rendering charms that sing in the night and grant some small boon to a man's vigor or defense against pregnancy. Defense against pregnancy. <laughs> grant a small boon to a man's vigor? Oh, actually, there was no other way in here. Here? Can I break this? Actually, I wonder if it's possible to like blink out of here. No? Too small? Okay, just wondering. Eh, well, at least we got a useful bone charm out of that. I was dumb though. Those guys weren't even gonna attack me to begin with. But I. <laughs> Ended up throwing them away anyway. Are you a dead counter? Brave men needed for crisis management. Oh, you're here now. Okay. Let's try going into the distillery. Yeah, because judging by what we've seen previously, you can go in and go out. It's not a permanent thing. We gotta do the thing for the granny anyway. Oh, is that how I'm supposed to be able to tell that people are going to get angry at me? Then does that mean that I got all those the survivors earlier for no reason then? Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. Those poor people. Word is he's like a phantom with an army of shadows in front. That guy down? Ain't he just a boss? Like Slackjaw? Damn right I am. Down ain't no ordinary man. Touched by the outsider he is, given dark powers. He can slit your throat across the room. Well, that gave him a leg up for sure. It's no coincidence that most men won't even whisper his name. Is it true that he lives in the flooded district? With them weepers and wild hounds? That's what they say. Perfect place for a paid killer to hide. There's one guy there too. Dowd. Dowd. Hey, shut up. Shut up what? No one even talked. What's wrong with these people? Oh wow, they come in pairs. See, I can see that guy, but he's not marked yellow, because I guess my vision is too weak right now. man how do I get that guy he's leaned against the wall maybe we'll just try to avoid them for now I'm trying to mess with their distillery formula is that what I'm doing here it's not even an objective oh then why why am I here didn't the granny say earlier that she would give me more rewards if I did this, though? And I like rewards. You know what? Let's go for a different approach today. Let's try to walk around. Wretch, you got lucky. When you're this handsome, you don't need luck. Face like a hagfish. Got anything to hey, smoke or eat? Don't off, be chopper. Say, when's Slackjaw coming down? Not till the next batch of elixirs done. He'll want to check on things. 
Then you better get all your shit together, huh? Everything's fine. I run the still like I run a game of Nancy. Yeah. The Bottle Street Gang has a bootleg elixir still inside the old Dunwall Whiskey Distillery. They're creating their own version of Sokolov's health elixir and selling it. Oh, okay, so all these notes... All these notes are hints. Yeah, they're mission clues. I saw the door there, but I'm guessing it needs a key. Or maybe I can go in there. Would it be too rash of me to try to jump down now? So many people down there. But none of them are looking here. <coughs> we shouldn't rely on this too much because we know it's not perfect. Distillery Master Key. Uh, that is a trappingy, right? If I do blink... Oh god. If I do blink... I think we can get over it, right? Or I can just walk on these barrels here. That's a dude. That's a dude. Um... Is that water down there? I don't know what the situation's like. Yeah, nice. Is that what? Is that what? Is that what? Must have been rats. Yeah. So we do get second chances. If we get spotted... That guy didn't see me properly though, did he? If he did, he'd probably be, um... More alarmed over that. Uh... Again. That guy's kinda close. I want to wait till that guy comes into this area because if he's standing there, people looking over the balcony can see him. Frick. <laughs> I think I missed my chance here. Okay. He's gonna turn around. Well, give it. Okay. Here goes. Yeah, let's forget about that for now. We don't need to hurt these people, so... If it's not the best chance, we don't have to take it. If we want to find the charms and stuff... Alright, I got you. Oh, did he leave? No. I guess in the middle here would be good.
No, that's not a door. Okay, who else is around here? If I try to go up the stairs... Is that balcony guy still looking? Actually, how many people are even here? Four? Three more? Oh, five. This is kind of hard. Didn't I see a bottle here earlier, or... There's a bottle. Okay, if I'm gonna try using the bottle... Let's take away this charm, because that's not useful. <laughs> if I try to throw something down here, will someone come down the stairs to investigate? I can't tell if they're coming to investigate because I took away the charm or because they're hostile. Because earlier, those guys wouldn't move no matter what. But they weren't hostile to me. Oh, that guy's coming this way? Actually, he's not coming at all. If you don't come down, it doesn't work. God, this is gonna take... Oh. Hey, there's a chain there. I feel like if I try to eliminate all of them, this is gonna be really, really, really yeah, slow. To the point that, like, it's too slow. Can you check the stairs? Oh, all I do is look in the balcony, though. That's it. Okay, you know what? Forget it. They're lying. Lying. This is a little dangerous. Oh, frick, that guy. Any here? <laughs> we gotta be careful. This is not a good spot. <coughs> okay, now, now, now. How come I couldn't get him the first time around? I don't know. I guess I wasn't close enough? And I think I accidentally figured out the key to take away my gun. <laughs> I mean sword. The Rat Plague. For over a year, I've studied this cursed plague, collecting and dissecting rats by the thousands. Given their rapid gestation and maturation, maturation cycle, it's been possible to breed them for numerous generations. The rodents themselves seem immune to the plague, but they pass it readily between members of their own species, perhaps through mites. The blood of the rats tells its own story, allowing me to gauge the number of generations that a given group of rats have lived with the plague. As such, a nagging question remains. The rats collected in the poorest parts of town, in the slums, exhibit the oldest strains of the plague, while those found near the docks, where the foreign plague-bearing rats would presumably have entered our city, exhibit a younger strain of plague. Could this mean that the rats were transported to the slums in some way that is not obvious? I will continue my research. If nothing else, I am living proof 
that Sokolov's elixir and Piero's remedy are very effective at protecting against the plague if one consumes enough of the stuff. It's not like a vaccine, like a shot that you just take once. You gotta do it continuously. Oh, I think I hear a bone charm here. How do I get up there? Blink? Uh, do I want to bring the guy in here? Just in case. Yeah. How the heck? Can I stand on the barrels? You bet I can. What's this one? Rat scent. Rats attack you only when you get closer. Isn't that what usually happens? <laughs> okay. Uh, if I try to go out this way, what's gonna happen? If I fall down, am I gonna get fall damage here? Holy shit. Oh, I have to press F quicker if I want to take him as soon as he falls. Yeah, because I did try it previously when it first came up. But you have to, like, commit to it right away. That was really careless of me. I kind of just got lucky there. Can I blink in there? Yay! Defying the laws of physics. Bootleg still instructions. Attach empty elixir vial to the spout before you turn on the thing. Turn the valve on, collect the full vial, repeat until empty. Do not break vials, do not spill any elixir, no free swigs. Alrighty. Spring Razor. A Spring Razor trap can be attached to any surface by aiming it and using that. It will be triggered as an enemy approaches it, throwing up a cloud of shrapnel. Yeah, okay, that's lethal. <laughs> Elixir accounts. Tubbard Family, Cramling Family, Brayden, Golden Cat, Bitterleaf, Almshouse. Griff, past due. Oh, I was like, why is that red? It's because I'm holding the freaking spring trap, that's why. <laughs> Empty elixir vial. Turn the valve. Isn't that bootleg? Oh, are you kidding me? Oh man, I thought we could get a free one here. I feel like the granny wanted me to ruin this operation, but it's not in my mission list. Oh, because did she want me to go to the doctor's place first? Oh, dang. But you know what? It's okay, because we have an understanding of how this place is like, so hopefully getting back in here will be easy. But for now, I guess we're going to try to leave. <laughs>